All right, Charon. I'm ready to hear about your lost souls. Oh, them. Not everyone in the underworld belongs here. These souls are lost. Their true resting place deserves to be found. You're the Feriban. You tell them where to go. That's not in my job description. Every soul arrives lost with unfinished business. Some are just more sympathetic than others. Who are these souls you want me to help? Most die, and I'll give them proper funeral rites, but some aren't so lucky. And the unlucky ones become lost? Oh yes. They are left to wander eternity, unaccepting of their fates. I'll help you, Ferryman. But where should I start? There's a soldier, an Athenian. He wished to die an honorable death in battle, but as he charged towards the enemy, he slipped in the dirt... ...and fell. Sounds like quite a warrior. He needs a glorious death to pass on to Elysium, but he cannot go to war without his weapon and armor. One is located in the Restless Necropolis, and the other is in the hands of a champion known as Swordfish. Swordfish... Of course he'd be here. I'll return the soldier's equipment and help him claim the death he seeks. Swordfish will have the Athenian sword.
This looks like the place. <laughs> the restless necropolis. Sounds fun. Doesn't look like much. I've got the Athenian sword and armor. Now I just have to return them to him. Thank you. 
smell of battle is always the same. A fellow warrior. Did death find you on the battlefield like it did me? Eh, death hasn't found me yet. I died pathetically on my knees in the dirt. That's why I'm trapped here. I'll give you the glorious death you seek. I can't fight you unarmed. There's no honor in that. Lucky for you, I have your armor and weapon here. It feels... different. Eh, you'll get the hang of it. I joined the war to protect my home from the siege of Sparta. Tell me, did we save glorious Athens and its people? Athens wasn't destroyed by Sparta, but by disease. A plague wiped out the city. I can still smell the burning flesh from the piles of dead. So, Athens is no more. We all died for nothing. Without Athens, without its people, what is there left to honor? It's time. Come, put an end to my suffering. Let's end this the right way.
fabulous. Now let me tell you my plan to catch the monger. Let's hear it. I'm ready. Exceptional. I'll distract the prisoners while you head straight to the monger. We can't let him escape. Once you defeat him, take him to the deepest abyss of Tartaros. You'll have to pass through the entrails of Gaia to get there. Entrails of... <sighs> Never mind. Let's go. We make a good pair. At first I was worried you wouldn't stick to the plan. 
You haven't been very trusting of me. Can you really blame me? You and the cult destroyed my life. I understand, but tell me you see that I've changed. That I'm trying to do good in death where I failed in life. I cannot move on without your acceptance. I suppose you have changed a bit. My dear Eagle Bearer, you have no idea what your forgiveness means to me. Who said anything about forgiveness? I feel as though I can finally move on. Hades, I... we returned the monger to Tartarus for you, just as you asked. I made no such request. But you referred to the monger as a thorn in your side. And you inferred that I wanted him returned. Clearly you still have much to learn, Elpinor. We'll discuss this later at my palace. Still, I'm on my way to eternal peace. Thanks to you. I believe you're forgetting something, brother. Why would you help your enemy find peace? I thought you and Elpinor were working together. Elpinor was merely a means to further along your far more interesting journey. Any chance this means you'll teach me more about the staff now? Patience, Keeper. A few more twists are still to come along your path. I'm looking forward to seeing how it all plays out. You used Alpinor as some sort of trial for me. Close. But the fates wove your path with a defter hand than that. What are you talking about? You'll know soon enough. 